Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> We're so far into December. It's crazy. It's almost Christmas. I'm going to be another year older. Um, it's been a really fun month. It's been really crazy. Uh, a lot going on with friends and family and Christmas. <laughs> um, I haven't had a lot of time to crochet, but today I got quite a bit done between today and yesterday, and I thought this is the perfect time to make a video so I can show you guys what I'm working on, what I finished. Also, I think this is the perfect time to count all my ball bands for this year because this is what I mean when I've mentioned a couple times that I have ended up throwing away a couple ball bands. They don't fit in here anymore. I can't fit anymore. And I don't think I'm really going to use like whole skeins of yarn um, before the year end because it's, it's such a busy time. It's honestly, this is the hardest time of year to find time to crochet for me. So I, I do find that I do a lot of crocheting. Um, when things die down a little bit, January is a big year, February, um, during the summer, <laughs> things like that. So there's a, quite a bit um, for this video. So yeah, I've been trying to be really festive. I love Christmas. I love the holidays. Um, I think we try to go a little extra too because Christmas is my birthday. So we do uh, quite a few things. I was really excited. I got to go see some Christmas lights. So I'm gonna put some videos of that if you would like some Christmas cheer. get started on crocheting. So I own quite a few of these big skeins of yarn. When this is full, because I've used quite a bit of it already, as you can see, they're big skeins of yarn, the one pound type yarn. These are one pounds as well. So I think I own maybe like 24. <laughs> I own quite a bit, all different colors. And um, Sometimes I feel like I neglect these. I go more often for the little skeins. They're easier to grab. They're just right here. And then I don't know. I just neglect the big ones. You can even see I have an empty patch here again. And then behind me is you can see um, it's empty. So I thought yesterday I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to work with it and see what I can make. Um, usually when I feel that way and I grab one of these skeins, I work with it until I finish it. But since this is such a big skein, it has uh, 716 yards. I knew I was not going to finish that, uh, but I was going to work with it as much as I, as long as I felt motivated to do it. So I do love this yarn. It's a really, really pretty, it's, it's just called purple, but it was craft smart never enough so this is when the yarn was a little bit rougher they kind of changed their yarn in the last year so the first thing i made i believe this is called pippo penguin it's p-i-p-p-o it's a paid for pattern and i love making this penguin so much i just think it comes out really cute i think i've made like four of them this year and i probably will make more a couple um, downsides to this penguin is the line. It is slanted. So um, I always 
say that like you could fix it if you've already made one and you can kind of figure out what to do but I get so in the moment with my patterns that I I don't like really alter them that much especially when it comes to color changes um if it's like putting in the wings while you're crocheting I would do that um if I really felt like it but honestly I just sell these on it doesn't bother me to sell them on it's a really fun pattern it is a bit of a stuffing eater a fiber fill eater it uses a ton and even then sometimes I still end up with like those patches where um you push down and you can tell that you didn't stuff it a hundred percent right because it's just it's, it takes a lot of stuffing so it's all like pretty plump <laughs> I try anyways but I really enjoyed this I used my five millimeter hook 10 millimeter safety eyes and the purple that I mentioned the white is crafter secret and it was an off-white and then the this is kind of like a yellow orange I really love this color it's right here it doesn't have the ball band anymore but I know for a fact it's Karen one pound um like this <laughs> type of yarn but it's so cute I really enjoy making him I'll probably make more like I said the only downside is it's a stuffing eater and it does take me a few hours to make because it, it is a bigger amigurumi but I I really enjoyed making this one then since I already had the yarn out there's actually a couple patterns on my laptop that I'm really sad because I don't understand um i had the pattern saved but the document will not open and they're paid for patterns so i'm a little bit upset about that um i'm gonna try to figure it out i think i might have saved them on my hard drive but i don't even know if they would open on my hard drive um because like of my laptop but we'll i will see so i ended up not doing the patterns that i wanted to do but i did other ones instead these three are works in progress they just need to be stuffed and put the safety eyes in and finished off this is because i didn't have any stuffing safety eyes yeah any stuffing or safety eyes and i just wanted to keep working with the yarn so the first one i have this octopus i make this one I used to make it pretty often, but I stopped because it takes me a while. The curly cues really take me a while to make. And for when I'm crocheting, for the most part, like things like this, for example, like this body of the penguin, I can crochet without having to look down too often. Um, so I can multitask, like watch movies and um, shows engage in conversations <laughs> when I'm do working on this but if I'm doing a curly cue I have to be looking down the whole time so I really I don't know it's not my favorite to make anymore and I really notice this takes me a while to make so I just made one of those just for old time's sake and then I made two little squidlets which look really weird right now because they don't have the safety eyes in but they'll look much cuter once they're finished and i'll be sure to either show them to you guys or take a picture and um put it in the next video so i do have um quite a few purple things <laughs> i love that so i think i'm done for right now with this purple skein i think i'm gonna put it away i made some progress i really did so i'm proud of that and um part of the reason i don't use these too often is because the shelving unit that i use for the big skeins it's pretty tight to take one out so i want to just at least work on a couple skeins of yarn to get them a little bit smaller so it's easier to um take out a color and with that progress it's definitely going to be easier now so i'm excited about that that is it for finished objects and works in progress, but I am super curious. I don't know about you guys. I am super curious to see how many ball bands. Honestly, I look at this and I don't believe I use this. <laughs> like, this is crazy. There's so many in here. Originally, originally I was just using this basket or I'm sorry, this little bag to put my ball bands in and it became too much. And I incorporated this basket as well. 
they all fell out but yeah there's a ton so i'm gonna count these up and i'll be back That was absolutely nuts. I cannot believe 115 ball bands. I'm not even counting the ones I tossed because I just got tired of squishing them in this basket. So like I said, I had them in this basket in this little Tahoe bag. That's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> if I have any more from now until the end of the year, since it's only a few days and like I said, I don't think I'm going to be crushing that hard. Um, I'm probably just going to toss them. I'm going to leave this basket empty until um, the new year. And then that's when I'm going to start putting the ball bands back um, as I use them. I'm so proud of myself because this year I know that I really minimalized um my i didn't want to keep having scrap balls and i know i didn't attack my scrap ball basket too much but i didn't add to it and that brings me peace <laughs> that it, because i didn't attack it at least i didn't keep adding to it because um the scrap basket is not my favorite because I know I often forget to grab from there. Or sometimes I feel like I have a lot of yarn and I want to use it up so I can see progress like this. So I don't go for the scrap basket because if I crush it from there, I'm not really going to notice it. And I say that because the basket isn't clear or anything. I actually have to like pull it out and look at it um, to see progress. But I, I know eventually I would see progress if I use up my scraps. So I think that's what I'm going to focus on a lot on next year too and i'm gonna make a um a new year video where i'm gonna talk about things that i want to focus on crochet wise for next year and um things that i want to do differently goals that i set for myself so i am super super excited i know 100 percent i am never gonna reach this amount of ball bands again i'm never gonna get close to 100 the biggest reason I think I did this year is because I I was really hard on myself for a couple months I was like you have to use up if I take out a skein you have to use it up within a matter of like a couple of days or or for a few projects only use that skein and that was fun and I'm glad that I stopped doing that when I stopped because I stopped before it it got like draining um yeah, so I do like doing that. I might do that for a little bit during the year, challenge myself of you have to finish this skein of yarn, but not to where crocheting becomes a chore. Uh, I just, where was all this yarn? That's my biggest question. Where did I keep all this yarn? A <laughs> hundred and something. You would think I have like a whole empty shelf now. That's ridiculous. Um, I don't even know. I didn't even, oh, it hit me. I was going to say I didn't even buy yarn this year, but I went to the Hobby Lobby sale. And I remember now, I had a lot of progress with, like, getting rid of my yarn stash. That I spoke about this before. I have um a shelving unit, but it's, you can kind of take it apart and rearrange it because they're cubes. I remember now, that was, like, gone. I had already taken it down and I had to put it back up because of my Hobby Lobby haul. It's all clear to me now. <laughs> it makes sense now. So yeah, there was progress and then I, I brought more yarn into this house. So, but I'm happy. Honestly, crocheting makes me so happy and I don't buy yarn just to buy yarn. I bought it because it was on a major sale and I know I'm going to use it. The only thing I bought that I might not use, um, I bought two two or three skeins of cotton yarn because I want to try to make like some sort of wearable with it. We'll see. They were pretty big skeins, but I don't know. I'm focusing on Amigurumi right now. So that was it for the ball bands. 
I did want to mention though, I have a Christmas pattern and I think I'm ready um, to release it in the next few days. I'm pretty sure I finished typing it up already. So I'm really excited for that. Be on the lookout for that. Um, it it was a lot of fun to make and I had the idea for like four months um because I was already thinking about Christmas long before <laughs> Christmas so I'm excited that I finally got it um created and hopefully I can have it published soon I also wanted to mention that I think I'm gonna do well I'm gonna attempt because I'm, I'm gonna try to do more like um vlogging videos in the near future i think they're a lot of fun in that way i could kind of keep you guys updated on what's happening in my life um part of the reason i don't do those is because i feel like i don't have on a lot of days i feel like i don't have enough crocheting to show you guys it would just be really random stuff so i'm kind of um thinking about that as well Today is going to be a really fun day though. I'm surprising my sister. So I told her, don't make plans. Like three weeks ago, I told her for this Friday, don't make plans. We're having a sister date and I didn't tell her where I'm taking her, but I found a place that's going to show Elf, the movie, and it's like a drive-in. So I'm super excited. I've been to this drive-in twice before. But it was during the summer so I watched the movie outside of the car and today it's so chilly. I think we might end up watching the movie in the car. But I'm gonna bring blankets and I'm gonna bring lawn chairs just in case she wants to watch it outside of the car because you have the option at the drive-in that I'm going to. But I think she's gonna love it. We absolutely love Elf. We watch it like three times every Christmas season but this Christmas season has been so busy we started it and we didn't finish it. So I think it's going to be so much fun. Um, I'm going to probably stop by and like eat something and then we'll head that way. And before that, I need to go to the post office. So it's going to be a busy day. I'm mailing out some Christmas cards today. It's going to be a good day. I'm so excited. Do you guys have any Christmas plans? Anything exciting? Um, even they have, if it has already passed. I was so, so blessed. Um, I think it was about a month ago. I randomly saw, if you happen to listen to like Chris, Christian music, Phil Wickham is like, he has a, a few songs that like every Christian knows. Like, this is Amazing Grace. Um, he was on a tour and I saw the day before the, the tickets were going to release. So I made sure that I was going to be able to buy the tickets the following day. And I didn't realize it was a Christ it was a Christian Christmas tour. So excited. I've never been to a Christmas concert before and I've always wanted to go. So it was a lot of fun. And that was a was it last week? Almost a week ago because it was on a Thursday. At a church. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I, of course, I ended up buying merch. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, and then I, this last weekend, actually it was like two days ago, we were at Disneyland because we were celebrating my birthday and Christmas. So that was like my birthday trip. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I was just, oh, so, so happy. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell. I'm like super happy. <laughs>
But I got a, a couple things, I think, from the park. So I will probably share them with you guys if I do like a vlogging type video. I'll share them with you guys as I put them away because some of those are Christmas presents. So I haven't like put them away yet. I need to wrap presents. That would be a cute video if I um, talk to you guys as I wrap Christmas presents. But we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, please let me know if you guys have any Christmas um traditions any fun christmas plans coming up anything special that you did unique this christmas like for example for me it was that christmas tour it was so good i just christmas music is so special and it was a wonderful night i'm always gonna remember um yeah <laughs> it was wonderful Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I know it was pretty random. We started off good with yarn. And then, of course, like always, I, it always goes a little bit random with me. But again, thank you so much. I absolutely love you guys. I love making these videos. If you want to uh, exchange a Christmas card, it's not too late. Feel free to email me. My email is in the description box below. And I'm more than happy to exchange a Christmas card with you. Thank you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!